Hello. So, I just graduated from RISD and look, here's my diploma. Thank you, mailman. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions from people asking about art school and how to prepare for applying for art school. And so this video is gonna be about what, basically just how, 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 how I did it. <laughs> so I applied in 2016, which is four years ago. The application process is different from what it is now. I submitted my essay through a common app. I uploaded my portfolio through a slide room. I took the SAT, which you do not need to do anymore. And we had to pick um, what assignment, I guess, we wanted to do. Um, it was either the bike drawing or the drawing instrument. I chose the drawing instrument because I don't think I'm good at fine art, but you don't have to do the bike drawing anymore. And I also had to mail in a still life drawing. For my year, you could upload from 12 to 20 pieces in your portfolio, and I put in 19 because I'm not going to put in crappy work in my portfolio. So basically, only submit work that you're proud of and don't make more pieces just for the sake of filling up the max number of quota because each piece you should be able to stand by and be like, if you define me by this piece, I'm okay with that. So because they don't know who you are um, and they're defining you by literally every single piece that you put in your portfolio. So if you put in a shitty piece and you don't want to be defined by that piece, then don't put it in. <laughs> your portfolio should be telling a story about you. Applying for art schools is like 10 times more work than normal schools. I applied for industrial design, which is what I majored in. Also, I talked Pro tip, okay, I talked to one of the um, RISD college admissions people and they said not to submit any drawings of eyes. They're, they see too many of them, they're kitschy, they're cliche, they don't want to see any more. Because I showed this and they said not to submit it. I applied to art schools and normal colleges. I got into RISD early decision. I also got into Parsons. So my college list was RISD, Art Center, and Pasadena, Parsons. Those are my top three. And then the other schools I also visited. Um, but I don't think I actually ended up finished applying because I went into RISD early decision. So going through my portfolio. The first piece I have in my portfolio is the drawing instrument, which is the prompt. I designed, okay, so I wanted to show that I could design for people, not just like draw, but like also design since I was applying for industrial design. I designed these gloves for small children to use when drawing because their muscles haven't properly developed, um, at least not well enough to hold a pen or pencil. And I was talking to a mom, she was talking about how her son, who's in kindergarten, um, has trouble holding like writing and drawing instruments and he constantly complains about how he knows how to write all the characters and how he could do it better if he could just draw them with his fingers. And then um, my second piece is a video advertisement. Um, the reason why I put this piece in my portfolio is to show that I could do advertising and also edit videos and that's similar with this piece except this one is more graphic design related. Looking back I wish I had photographed this piece better. Um, it looks like I photographed it in the darkest corner possible in my room. And I, I made these faces out of the insides of toilet paper rolls. The message behind this piece is that we are all made out of the same thing and these bars are what's dividing us. Everyone is so colorful and there's different textures. Everyone is so different, but in reality, we're just all the same and we should treat each other nicely and not use these differences to alienate ourselves from others. Next is this logo for my initials, which is SX. It's embossed on this thick paper. I don't think this is actually that interesting, 
but it shows logo creation, I guess. But looking back, I would say it's, it's pretty boring. Probably could have explored more and showed more of the process of coming up with this logo because I'm sure there are a lot of d different iterations and the reasons for the design choices that I made I could have talked about a little bit more maybe talk about like what feelings I wanted to this kind of logo to bring up what this logo is supposed to mean if there's any historical like symbolism in it that kind of thing which is not explained it's literally just says this is an embossing of a design I created for my initials so yeah, maybe I didn't need this piece in my portfolio. Next is the still life. I put this piece to show that I could do still life painting. Um, the colors are crazy. Like what? I, I thought the colors were crazy when I made this. I was like, oh yeah, all these crazy colors. I would be Wayne T with number two. Um, but looking back, I don't know what was going on in my head when I was painting the background. It's fun. It's playful. It's colorful. It represents who I was in high school and I think that's that's what's important. This piece I put in to show that I could use graphite, watercolor, and I could draw people um, and try to convey some kind of emotion through those mediums. Um, this piece is a self-portrait. I put this piece in because it tells something about me, it's like more personal and the my use of color in here is more fun, I guess. Um, obviously, technical wise, I don't even compare to some of the other people uh, because some people, they're really good at drawing and I'm obviously not as good at drawing but the thought behind it is there and I think that's the main thing that matters for applying to, to art school because you're, you're applying to learn, you're not applying to be like, hey, I'm already Picasso, you know, you're applying to be like, hey, I'm ready to learn and that's the purpose of applying. Ooh, okay. This piece is Flame of the Water, and okay, upon first looking at this piece as post-grad Sophia, I would say um, it's really, really boring. The composition is really lame, but high school Sophia <laughs> thought this was the most amazing thing ever <laughs> because I took my Crayola crayons and a candle, and I was just dripping my Crayola wax onto this little canvas and basically painting with wax, like dripping wax, which I had never seen before. Okay, let's read, let's read what High School Sophia was thinking. Yeah. Okay. This piece was especially interesting to make because I had to use fire to create the effect of water. Ooh, deep. <laughs> By using candles to melt wax and dripping the wax onto the canvas, it gave the piece a unique texture. That's true, you're not wrong, but it was especially interesting to work with a completely different medium. Yeah, honestly, yeah, it, it was really fun to work with a completely different medium because there's, there's no norm. I put it in to show that I was curious about trying new things and I wanted to learn. I, I wanted to, to learn about all these random materials that could be used. Okay, next piece. This is an oil painting I did. I put this in here to show that I can experiment with different painting textures, rough and smooth, providing contrast and contrasting color and texture. This book is the Dada book, which is a book um, that I made inspired by the Dada movement. It shows research in art history and taking inspiration from that. Okay. So this piece is, I believe, the most important piece I have in my portfolio because it is most closely related to what I wanted to major in, which is industrial design. So I basically designed this product where you would catch water on this pie tin. It'll rain onto this pie tin and it'll come into these two apple juice containers. And then you screw on the lid for with the Elmer's glue lid that I put in and then you turn it upside down into a plant and that's how you water your plant. Looking back at the picture that I took, I could have probably made like some kind of infographic about how to use this because when you're first looking at it, you have no idea what it is and it looks like trash because it's made out of trash. <laughs> but um, thinking is there and 
the curiosity is there, which is, I think, what's most important for you to show in your portfolio. Next is a glass cup. I was so proud of myself for making this cup. And there's color in it, like, she leveled up, you guys. Um, I don't know, it's just a cup. It's, it's not that amazing. I put it in because I think I had so much fun glass blowing that it wouldn't have been me if I didn't put any glass pieces in. So I put two glass pieces in. <laughs> the second one is a flower, which is like the easiest thing you can make in glass. But I had so much fun making this and I was so proud of it. Well, looking back, I'd be like, yeah, it's not that amazing. But High School Sophia thought it was the most coolest thing ever. So of course she put it in. This is a watercolor collage and I put this in to show that I can use different techniques and mash them all together in a interesting composition. This I put in, these are all these clay charms I used to make and I put this in to my portfolio to show just basically the wide variety of materials, wide variety of things that I like to create and willingness to explore. This is some resin fish I made. So I first made the fish out of clay and then I made a mold out of it, which is this blue thing. It's a silicone mold and then poured resin into it, which is the white fish. And then I painted acrylic on top of that. And then RISD says that they want you to put some sketchbook pages to show your thinking. And so here are some of my sketchbook pages that I put in. I put in two spreads, well, two pictures of six spreads. <laughs> cheating, that's cheating. But honestly, maybe you could put a video of your sketchbook flip through. Who knows if they'll see through the whole thing though. One of the pages shows my thinking behind one of my pieces from earlier. I think it would be better if it showed more thinking behind my other pieces and probably research into like for example, the dot dot movement or learning how to render different materials. I, I show a little bit of learning how to render different materials, but not a lot. Um, or just like notes that I took when I went to a museum or something like that. But if there was like a reason behind why I drew each thing and like if I showed it, that would be a lot cooler. And that's my, that's my high school portfolio. Overall, I'd say my portfolio is very wide in variety. I know some people who are my friends from RISD um, who had completely different portfolios to what I am showing you now um, and they also got in so there's no universal recipe to the perfect portfolio. Um, I think that your portfolio is the portfolio that you think represents you the best and that is your version of your perfect portfolio. With each piece you put in your portfolio, I think it's important to show that you're curious and that you want to learn because you're applying to a school and their job is to teach you. So if you don't want to learn, then they can't do their job. I think you're supposed to be curious about things. If you're not curious about things, then you're probably studying the wrong thing. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. I will try my best to answer them and if we have a lot, a lot, a lot of questions, I'll make a video for you. Bye bye! Why did I put this piece of my book?